How's it going everyone? I'm Nick. I'm Carl. And this is Shit I See on Facebook. So to start off, there was this one thing that my friend from an old job that they posted. Want to be black without the burden? Dark chocolate spray tans are now a thing. Did you not expect that? <laughs> no, I actually heard about those, but it was like, um, somebody had posted it basically saying that, like, you should get this so you can actually get the benefits of being black and so you don't get made fun of for being white anymore, because, you know, that's a thing now. Getting made fun of for being white? That's been a thing for years. Yeah, I know. Thank you, SJWs. So, yeah, that be... Okay, that means that blackface is somewhat becoming tolerable. <laughs> the fuck? Blackface? This is essentially blackface, although full body, but still blackface. It's blackface. It's blackface. Yeah. The it's only, blackface. The only person that can get away with blackface is Robert Downey Jr. That's only because he's Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> I'm, I'm the dude, dude playing, dude playing dude the dude disguised as another dude. dude. I don't drop characters to DVD commentary. Yeah, see, that's how next level friendship we're at. We This isn't scripted. That was perfect what just took place. <laughs> you ever been on Facebook and then just look to see those people that's like, oh my god, I can't sleep. Bitch, you're on Facebook. That's why you can't sleep. And then you post like 30 fucking memes everywhere. Everybody's just like up late saying like, I had like four or five people on my friends list last night that were like, I can't sleep, I can't sleep. But they were posting a crap ton of memes, pictures of their kids. Ugh, people. You don't have to upload every time and take it down. Uh, okay? Samuel L. Jackson so eloquently put it, go the fuck to sleep. <laughs> I love that. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Go to sleep. <laughs> I love that audio book. <laughs> he chose the perfect person to read that audio. Nobody else could have read it. And speaking of, you know, people where you're like, oh my God, I can't sleep. There's also those people that you're like, Oh my god, I'm reading this and because of this I cannot I cannot sleep. One of my friends <laughs> I was debating whether or not I wanted to put this on here, but you know what? Fuck it, I I'm going to. I had a conversation with one of my friends, very brief, but I saw her post a picture with a big bump, and I haven't talked to her in weeks. And I was like, what the fuck, dude? Are you pregnant? How long have you been pregnant? Who got you pregnant? And she, <laughs> she sends me a response that just has me reeling. I don't know when I got pregnant. First off, how do you not know when you got pregnant? Most women that I've known feel pregnancy in its really early stages. Yeah, especially if you are suddenly got like a bump and like, Jesus, bitch, what'd you eat? But most women I've known, they can they can feel it inside of them. They just have that motherly instinct that kicks in and they feel it. They know. How? That's the first... I don't know when I got pregnant. How about... Why don't you date back to when uh, you freaking had sex? When's the last time you fucked someone? When's the last time you sat on that disco stick, girl? So when's the last time you had sex? Oh, six months ago. Wait. Really? <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> there's, there's still more that I gotta just... Go! <laughs> Uh, and she said, I don't know how far I am along. I just found out last Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> you just found out a week ago. How did you not notice that you were getting substantially bigger? <laughs> well, the segue into that. Oh, basic bitches, dude. I know. The segue into that. Have you ever seen, you ever seen those things on Facebook where it's like they post a picture from themselves from like four or five years ago and then to now? And then, like, the first picture you see is never four or five years ago. It's like, yeah, she was cute. She was cute. I remember her. And then the picture at the side where you're like, ah! What the fuck happened, man? When did you, like, find your old self and then eat it? Or did you, like, absorb it for your power level raise? Did you just Freddy Krueger swallow the entire body? <laughs> just, I don't know. Or, or, of course, taking of Deborah Logan swallowing somebody. But then, but then... Like this person here, I'm not going to name names, don't post the picture, just because she will watch this. Um, she, she posted that picture and then was like, I hate being fat, I just stopped exercising, I just don't want to do anything, I'm not depressed or anything, I just, I'm just lazy. It's like, oh, simple bitch, you're oh, seeking attention. I'm so fat, I'm like, hey, yeah! So that means I want somebody to tell me that I'm really not fat. No, because somebody commented on the picture saying, 
you're beautiful. And everybody's like, you can lose weight. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> it's something like that. And then, I don't know if it's still on there. If you hate your body, exercise. There you go. If you hate your body, exercise. That's simple. So, but I just, I just like, there's, a, I've seen this so much lately. Is like attention seeking, yada yada yada. The funny thing is, it used to be really hot. So, is that the girl that can't sing? No, 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 no. She, she was always hot. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There's also this picture um, that Sony posted, and you were gonna love this. I didn't show him this, but I was looking for the page. Meanwhile. But it's a picture of a fat Axl Rose, and he's like, Take me down to the barbecue city where the ribs are greasy and the fries are crispy. I want you to please pass the rolls. <laughs> I want you to please pass the rolls. <laughs> I don't know if that's photoshopped or not, but that is. Did I really just see that? Hashtag heterosexual pride day. Woohoo! What? <laughs> Causing debate during LGBT pride month. Well, hey, if you guys can have a gay pride day, we can have a straight pride day. People often talk about equality and they're like, oh, equality, that's quality, that. But how come you can have something nobody else can? And they always go, well, you've always had every day to celebrate. No, we're not sitting here celebrating marriage, mar heterosexual marriage, heterosexual relationship. No, we're not. But you can sure have a gay pride for right now. I am a full supporter of the LBGT community, but some of the shit that goes down is just so stupid. We don't need a straight pride day because we don't struggle from persecution. We don't need it, but if we wanted it, we could have it, and people shouldn't protest it. Cause you people want shouldn't protest yeah. it because this is America, damn it. We yeah. get to do what we want here. For example, they, you wouldn't want them protesting you, would they? Hey, if you don't like it, why don't you go crawl back to your safe fucking place, huh? Yeah, safe space, you know, crooked glass tumbler, hair dye wearing bitch. That's enough for this episode of Shit I See on Facebook. Later! Later.